a question. We just got a question. We just got a question. Wonder who it's from. <laughs> and people asking for advice and then just kind of pull from them for different videos okay so with that being said I was inspired by this question here because I could really highly relate to it I don't know if she wanted to remain anonymous for this so I just blocked out her name above but the question reads do you have any advice for experiencing anxiety for being a virgin at 24 I know I'm ready to do it but I just feel anxious because it makes me feel so behind even when people tell me that they already lost theirs I'm just like why haven't I received this human experience yet Mm. Please do jazz hands if you've ever felt like this in your life. As many of you know, I was known for being the 24-year-old virgin. I was known for being the 23-year-old virgin, the 22-year-old virgin. Like, for whatever reason, that just was not, like, something that was common within my friend group. Which is crazy because I had, like, this one pocket of friends that were all virgins. And then it was like, as soon as one of them lost their virginity, they started popping off like flies, just left and right. Like, it was so wild. But other than that, I had always had really promiscuous friends. I say that because from my observation of it, it didn't quite feel like they were having sex for the healthiest reasons in the healthiest ways. Uh, I don't know if, how much time they really took to explore themselves and get to know themselves before really dealing with their partners. So I'll just straight up say that I always had whole friends. Like, I really did. Um, and then I also had really sexually liberated friends, but that wasn't really... I mean, like, I'm trying to think, like, who's really, like, unapologetically sexually liberated? Because now, like, everybody that I'm thinking of was, like, going to somebody toxic or was like getting STDs or like accidentally getting pregnant and that that's not toxic that just happens with life but it, it's not always the safest thing depending on the protocols you're taking okay going on a rant my point is that I can relate to at some point being the only virgin in the friend group and it does feel like pressure sometimes or almost like FOMO really like FOMO when everybody has all these sex stories and you're just sitting around like mm -hmm. um I hugged the guy the other day and that that's great. So I get I get uh, you feeling like you're missing out on a human experience. But what I would love to let you know is before I shared my virginity with my partner, I was already aware that virginities and losing your virginity and this this being a virgin as a whole is an entire concept. This is literally a concept that like society has created to shame women, to lock women in a box, to make women feel like we have to be up on this pedestal and if we are not virgins, we must wait until marriage. It's just like a lot. It's just a fucking lot. Like it's so, so many rules and like the more we talk about it and the more we think about it, it just seems like a part, a major part of the patriarchy. Even when it comes to the term losing your virginity, I didn't feel like I lost shit when I had sex for the first time. Like. I lost some expectations of what the fuck to expect because they were, you know, I mean, I don't know, like, I was like, this is what people are feeling for, like, I'm still kind of waiting to see the hype about sex, but it's only because I haven't had sex with a really educated partner yet. So, as much as we think that, like, losing your virginity or sharing your virginity, and even me, like, I say losing all the time because, once again, we're still stuck in the society, we're in the matrix, right? But sharing your virginity with a partner is a beautiful, can be a beautiful experience. Um, I, I would say that I made a pretty big deal out of my virginity. I, my boundaries were so fucking heavy. Like, I had no problem saying no and making sure you respected my no. And I actually feel like I lost some of that when I shared my virginity or after I started having sex because I had explored myself so much, but I hadn't explored boundaries yet. I hadn't explored boundaries in my relationship. I hadn't explored boundaries with other people outside my relationship. And I hadn't explored boundaries with myself, really. So 
I think that that's why I'm in the state that I am now on my sexual journey where I'm celibate. Like I had I had this whole phase where I had sex with multiple different people, but I really do wish that I would have had this celibacy journey because I really wish b before doing all of that, no regrets except for this one guy. But I, um, yeah, I just really appreciate, I really appreciate all that I'm learning through the celibacy journey. I'm so grateful for my mom because she actually bought me my very first vibrator and it was the Hitachi wand. And she bought that with the intention of allowing me to teach myself, or not even allowing me, but affirming that it is a beautiful thing for me to teach myself how to pleasure myself and what I like because I don't want somebody else telling me what I like just because the last girl that they did liked that. And I think that 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 was so beautiful for me and that really got me through a lot and that really got me through my entire virginity but when i started then talking to people and like really dating and like having sex with people there was still a lot i needed to heal like my people pleasing like i said setting boundaries um finding my voice sexually like i was very vocal when i was when i was a virgin but after I lost my virginity I, or shared my virginity, I felt like an alien. Like, I felt like everybody else knew what to do besides me, so I have to act like I know what to do. Whole time, they didn't know what they were doing and then also didn't take directions when I finally did learn some of the things that I liked and then told them they didn't know. So, as a former 24-year-old virgin, the best advice that I can give to you is know that universal timing is everything. My mom and I had a conversation the other day about intimacy because I really did start to miss, like, affection and I've been celibate for now a year like this was not an intentional choice but it kind of was I told myself I was not having sex with anybody unless they got tested and I was really really like into them and was able to have a connection with them because I'm demisexual which means you have to have a connection with somebody that you are intimate with but after it was like became like pulling teeth trying to get first of all to try to like somebody and then to try to get them to get tested like I literally just like got the ick for for just sex in general like for a second like just let somebody gotta recalibrate if you're not gonna recalibrate it's gonna be me so my mom and I were talking the other day about that and how I did miss intimacy at, to a certain extent and she reminded me about the the importance of organic relationships and I've also had this conversation with my dad when I was younger in regards to organic friendships and the, the premise is the same of allowing like the universe or whatever you believe in to provide to you what you need. Like you thinking in this way and being so aware of yourself and what you desire, like this is time now for you to be able to prep so that when you do have that experience, you are so self-aware, you know exactly what you love, you feel so comfortable exuding your voice in a situation where you feel like you may want something done differently or you just, you'll find your sexual voice, you don't need a partner for that. Um, yeah, I, I think you can read. So there are so many books. There's this book called Playing Without a Partner. And it's from the sex toy shop. Shops adore the shipping is super discreet. So nobody will know what you're buying from a sex toy shop. And it is literally all about that. I literally lost it on vacation. And I'm so pissed that I'm going to buy another another copy. Uh, but yeah, and they have an array of books that speak about self-love. And learning about yourself sexually. And learning how to find your sexual voice there there's literally a whole library on shopsador.com so if you use the code loveatia you can get 15 percent off your purchase it's amazing but i say all this to say that we have in our mind this like fomo you know what i'm saying or or even we just genuinely want to experience intimacy with somebody in that way and really like have that intimate moment of sharing our virginity with somebody and having them be our first partner which can be sentimental to some people and it was sentimental to me my relationship was trash it, my relationship was so absolutely unhealthy when I say trash that sounds messed up it was trash like I, I can say that unapologetically it just was like so unhealthy but the moment that I lost my virginity or shared my virginity is one that I don't have regrets for and I feel like I tried to be as discerning in that moment as possible and I just never wanted to have regrets on who I shared my virginity with. I say all that to say that the partner that is meant for you and the partner that is meant to share this amazing experience with you and the partner that is worthy of this amazing experience is on its way. They're on their way and when we force things and when we try to put like 
circular puzzle pieces into square holes. Yeah, we have the experience, but is it really the experience that we want to have? You know, so I would definitely implore you or uh, inspire or want to inspire you to just take this time to really learn about yourself because once you find that partner or somebody that you're really ready to share it with the more you love yourself beforehand and the more you know yourself beforehand the less it feels like a loss you know like the less the words losing your virginity really resonate in your spirit so I just wanted to give that tidbit out there. I hope that that's helpful. I want to make sure that I like literally answered your questions. I think you just asked for advice. Yeah, towards the anxiety. And the anxiety that you feel can really be talked down through just learning more about yourself and learning ways to pleasure yourself, learning ways to prepare yourself for what comes with sex, learning, uh, educating yourself about sex. The book When Sex Hurts definitely explains a lot of stuff that just never made sense to me. A lot of stuff that a lot of OBGYNs are not even aware of. Um, but I think that education definitely helps curb my anxiety when it comes to sex sex and intimacy and things of that sort so yeah just know that like things are working out things are the way that they're supposed to be breathe uh like literally like practice deep breathing practices uh which you can also then in turn practice during sex and you can also practice that during masturbation which is amazing so when you do have a partner that you feel comfortable enough and trust enough to share your virginity with then regardless I just want your sexual experiences to be healthy and like pure, you know, like virginity or not. So this goes beyond the first sexual experience because that's just a person, you know. But yeah, I would try meditation when you feel anxious and you feel like you're getting in your thoughts and meditations of like the universe is aligning as it should, things of that sort. But like really just affirmations, write love letters to yourself about how amazing you are. And when you finally do find that partner, when that partner finds you, how ready you'll be for them. Like things like that, that, that would get me excited. And I think I'm going to do that for my future partner as well. So we can do it together. But yeah, I love you so much. And I'm so grateful for this, for this uh, comment. Like it really, really was a great discussion. So I'm really grateful grateful for you and for your transparency and authenticity and I know that all will be well so I love you please give yourself a hug for me ah, and don't forget to be kind to yourself and to be kind to animals I think I'm gonna start adding a breath in after the hug because I just want to take a deep breath with y'all let's take a deep breath Ashe, love you <laughs>